Well, once we've had a look at the drawings and we've decided that you need to serve notice under the Party Wall Act, the next stage is to serve notice. Now, that, that is not as straightforward as it sounds because you've got to identify all the owners of the adjacent property. And whereas you might think you've lived next door to somebody for years and years that Mr and Mrs Jones next door are the owners, you might be surprised. Uh, the first thing we would normally do is do a land registry search of next door to find out whether they are the registered owners because quite often they might be tenants, for example, you know, and they're not about to tell you they're tenants. Um, and then there's a, there's a freeholder somewhere there hiding in the dark whom they're paying rent to. Now, under the terms of the Party Wall Act, you've got to serve notice on all the owners. And that's a very important thing because an owner has a specific definition. And that's somebody who has a, an interest in the property, as a leaseholder, for example, of more than a term of a year. So somebody who is on a yearly tenancy, which are very common, that they're known as the assured shorthold tenancies, they're only for a year long. They're not actually owners under the terms of the Act. If they have a tenancy of a year and a day, or a three-year tenancy, they will be owners. Now another rather interesting thing is if you're serving notice on your next door neighbours, there might be more than one owner. You might see only one property next door, but you could have a leasehold owner who has a, a, a term of three years in there. You could then have a freehold owner. So there, you look at your property, you've got two sets of owners. Sometimes you can have more than that. If you're dealing with commercial properties, you can have a, a, a leaseholder who's got five years left remaining on his lease. You can have a long leaseholder who is sublet to the short leaseholder, and then you can have a freeholder at the end of it. So you can end up serving notice and dealing with party wall awards on one property with multiple owners, which can get very expensive. I think another thing that's, uh, that's interesting to talk about, which I don't know how you ask the actual question, is that you can't always determine the owners by looking at the land registry because not everybody is on the land registry. So you do your land registry search and it comes up with leasehold owners such and such and such and such and you then serve your notice and proceed with the various party wall works. You can then find other people can pop out of the woodwork later on because the land registry doesn't have everybody on it who is necessarily an owner. They might have recently bought the property. It takes a while to get onto the land registry. So you go through this procedure uh, and you get to the end of it, you serve your party wall awards and someone says, hang on, I'm also an owner. I haven't received notice. I haven't got an award. I think for that reason, we would say that you need to deal with your notices very early on within the procedure of getting your building works done. There are prescribed time periods. For example, there are minimum time periods that you need to serve notice for, and it's, it's a month for an adjacent excavation for doing works outside your, ex your extension. On a party structure or party wall, it's two months if you're sticking beams in, chopping chimney breasts all, uh, off. So don't assume they're the minimum ones. You, realistically, you need, to serve, you need to serve the notices quite a long time before to, to give these what would you call them, to, to give these other owners a chance to pop up out of the woodwork because it's amazing how they do uh, at a later date.